Hey y'all, 2024 hasn't even started yet. It's getting gaggier and gaggier every minute. First, Mattel broke the news that we're getting new Mycene dots this year. And now, a doll line we all believe to be dead has been resurrected from beyond the grave. Leaked promo images for a Mermaid's Mermaid's Slumber Party line had been in circulation for quite some time now. But after the cancellation of Mermaid's, we all thought that we'd never be getting those dots. We all didn't really know how far into production those dots were. But now, there are listings popping up on the retail site of The Entertainer. The Entertainer is a toy store chain that's based in the UK and we all have high quality promo images for every single doll in the lineup. So, we are officially back in game. So mermaids are officially continuing from being discontinued which is amazing it's very exciting the dots look fantastic the slumber party themed lineup of mermaids dots consists of five characters all of them brand new first we have zuna who looks very similar to the dream ella extra iconic mini doll that we got she has a very e-girl inspired look to her which i think is very lovely then there's the very glamorous looking monroe She's my personal favorite. I'm a sucker for a high glam look. She's got a gorgeous fur trimmed slumber party nightgown jacket that she's wearing. Then there's Kinsley who has a cloud theme to her. The color scheme consists of whites and blues. And she has a very cute sleeping robe that she's wearing. Her fin is shaped like crescent moon and there are cloud patterns all over her tail. Then there's the gorgeous Bryn. She's my second favorite. I love her color scheme. I love her teal hair. She's got a head full of braids and she's got a very lovely looking striped classic pajama design to her tail fin as well as she's got a classic pajama shirt on. And last but not least there's Casey. Personally I don't really dig her. She's very old school looking. I think her design is very successfully implemented, but I'm not really vibing with the color scheme that she's got going on with the yellow on her tail, but she's still a very beautiful looking doll. Now the entertainer had already started to stock Dream Ella Extra Iconic dolls a couple of months back, and the European retail chain Action also stocked Dream Ella dolls. So this is begging the question, does MGA sit on a warehouse of a lot of their cancelled doll lines like Dream Ella or Mermaids as well as OMG Fierce. Is there a possibility that we might also see the OMG Fierce Candylicious and Kitty K dots pop up at the Entertainer? Fingers crossed that would be the case. Now there are also a bunch of new Barbie releases that I wanted to take a look at. First up there's the Career of the Year Women in Film 4-pack of dolls. I think the entire Barbie community collectively agreed on seeing that release that the standout is the movie star doll herself. She's a very gorgeous doll wearing a beautiful pink dress. One of our accessories is the miniature Barbie Oscar statuette that was first featured in a 2009 career doll who I unboxed on this channel. I think it was my second video that I ever did unboxing that Barbie I Can Be movie star doll. She's got the face that was introduced with the fashionista wave that is quite recent. And she's a very gorgeous doll from head to toe. She's a curvy doll and it's finally Mattel giving us a high glam concept and design for a curvy silhouette which we all collectively wanted for quite some time now and I believe this is the first time ever that Mattel has released a playline curvy doll who is just giving us all the pink high glam fantasies that we'd love to see in Barbie. And the rest of the set is just your standard Playland Barbie that you get in 2024. There's nothing about it that I really like. I think the pants that the Millie is wearing with the black leopard print, cheetah print, that one is cute. And the leather skirt that the Petite doll is wearing looks cute too. The black denim jacket that the Petite doll is wearing also looks to be quite well constructed for Barbie in 2024 but all in all a 4-pack that's way overpriced and only features one doll that I personally like it's nothing that I'm going getting. And we also got new pictures for a refresh of Barbie's dream closet and that closet from the way it's designed and the way that the 
closet is set up reminds me of the Zuro mini fashion wardrobe playset. Features a couple of looks for Barbie, but it looks like they just were going through all of the fabric scraps that they had lying around the, the factories. There's that one snakeskin print pattern that we already had seen in a Barbie extra vanity set and the cherry gingham print two-piece that Barbie is wearing is very cute and the doll herself is also cute looking in, in that outfit but it reminds me of a picnic fashion pack that we got a couple of years back. The playset, nothing to gag over. It's just your usual standard Playline toy that Barbie releases in 2024, so it's a pass for me. Now going from Playline to Collector, we got an announcement that Barbie wanted to reproduce a Christie doll and we had the opportunity to vote which one we wanted to get and we had to decide between Golden Dream Christie, Fashion Photo Christie, as well as Pretty in Pink Christie. Now I ended up voting for the one that ended up also getting the most votes and that was Golden Dream Christie and Barbie announced that they will reproduce her. I voted for Golden Dream Christie because I did not vote for the Pretty in Pink Christie because I already have the Barbie of that line and the outfit is just identical. It's not even a color swap, it's just basically the same outfit. Another new Barbie release that has a listing on Amazon now is a Barbie art therapy playset that features Barbie doll as well as a Chelsea doll. The Chelsea doll has a mechanism on her belly where you can just put certain emotions that the Chelsea doll might have as a sticker onto it and just change the emotion, which is kind of a cute but also kind of bizarre concept especially if you put the sad sticker on a doll who has a permanently smiling face and then you regulate the emotion to sad. It's just off, I think, Barbie bit of more than that she can chew. Having a therapy concept in a toy is important. For Mattel and Barbie, they're the last person that I'll ever see them successfully implement that kind of concept into a toy. So I think that you probably saw my Devalucy unboxing kind of popped off in a way that I did not expect or anticipate, kind of shook the doll community. But there's another clone doll line that I'm really excited about and I hope that I eventually am able to get my hands on and that's Anneli. And Anneli has released a line of dolls called Girl in Jeans and that lineup has couple of cute dolls that I would really love to add to my collection. They're fully articulated, they have a very beautiful head sculpt that is reminiscent of the Barbie Dyer head sculpt. I love the way they shaped and um, carved her nose and lips. She's a very cute looking doll. One of the dolls even has very cute textured curly hair. The outfits look very cute and it just goes to show how this isn't sorcery, this isn't witchcraft to create a very cute 11 and a half inch doll line with everything that we would love to see in that doll line. In 2024, should not be that hard to pull off if you have companies that release clone doll lines like Anne Lily and Deva Lucy pull it off, so should Barbie. So that about wraps up all that I wanted to say in this video. I hope you enjoyed me talking about some doll news. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of Mermaze's comeback. Like if you liked this video. Dislike if you thought this video was trash. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I might be seeing you in my next video. Mwah.